each matchup, I think, has gotten tighter, a little bit more strategic. But we're going to see a lot of activity, I think, tonight. Yeah, we are in for a treat here. Knack to born in on an early shot attempt. Nothing going. Arnold got a pretty low center of gravity here. Uh, watching these two interview, the respect they have for each other is just, you know, they, they love this. They, they feed off this. They thrive off this. There's a lot of wrestlers out there that may not want to wrestle this match, you know. Um, these two living and breathing it and excited for the opportunity. Uh, again, kind of like almost what we talked about with Block and Ayala a couple years ago. Absolutely. Like, you want to see the best guys. And these, this is a matchup that we potentially could see for a few years, you know? Right. One um, going to Iowa State, one going to Iowa. And so, I mean, I'm, I'm excited to see how that transpires. A lot of movement here. Nactaborn with the only real shot attempt. Kind of a half attempt there for Arnold as we are under a minute here. Again, like you said, these two have wrestled three times this year. I believe it was something like seven to two, five to two, maybe five to three, and then the last one, I, to my knowledge, was a three to two decision um, in favor, all three of them in favor of Gabe Arnold. Yeah, Arnold's done a really good job of, of capitalizing on his openings when he when he has the, the openings. And that's what you I mean, that's what you you expect. And so I'm excited to see what adjustments are made in both of their styles, you know, to see who can come out tonight top. Tate obviously a three Time, four time finalist now. Yep, four time two finalist. Time, two time champ. Lost to none other than Ben Keeter when they were freshmen. Yeah, and actually was winning that match with like seven seconds left, and, and Keeter was able to score a takedown. And right there, Arnold looks for a whip over, and Nactaborn almost kind of comes out the back door of it, but nothing going. We head to the second period, score 0 0. Gonna line up. I think we're gonna see Tate look to ride. Bumps that 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 leg out. Now looking to lift and go mat return. Hasn't been able to really do it yet. Now he gets him off the ground, looking to slam the hips, but great cat-like reflexes. Arnold gets up to keeps his base, you know, tight. And now Tate drops down to the leg and is looking to climb up the leg of, of Arnold and move forward. Yeah, we have Travis Pike here, the official in the center of the mat. And on the outside, we have uh, Iowa Official of the Year, Brian Gray, was recognized before the finals here tonight. So these two are in good hands. Great flexibility right there from Arnold. Knock the boring, being very intelligent right there with the leg, not forcing anything. Ref calls a stalemate. Nice switch attempt right here from Arnold, and he gets up to his feet. Gets to escape. That's a, that was a great adjustment on Nactaborn there. That could have been dangerous. Absolutely. But, I mean, if he's anything like his little brother, I don't think he might mind mixing it up. You know? No. Definitely not. Tate's got to clear arms a little bit better there. Clear ties before he takes that straight on shot. Obviously going to have to find angles against someone as stout as Arnold here. And, you know, Arnold's cousin is uh, Jaden Cox. Like, his, his cousin is Jaden Cox. So. You know what? I was going to ask you that because there was, oh, no, that was the, okay, let me ask you this. What? The Ames kid that's coming up, is that David Carr's cousin? I think they might have some relation down Nickel? the line. Yeah. Okay. I've kind of heard that this week, and I, I never had any verification on that. Anyway, we'll talk about that later. Back to this match. Yeah, we'll talk about that next match. <laughs> Sweet the nothing. Actiborn has had a number of attempts here. And we have 15 seconds left in the second period. This one obviously shaping up to be a classic. And they're, they're stalking. Not able to get anything mixed up right now. Gabe Arnold 
dad, Phil Arnold, was his coach okay. growing up. Now he obviously wrestles at City High. He's a little hawk and uh, is going to be, like you mentioned earlier, a future Hawkeye, Noctoborn, Big Game Wrestling Club, Linmar, Lion. He's going to be ISU Cyclone. Yep, again, this is the fourth of four finalists for Linmar here tonight. I haven't really updated team scores, so we'll pull those up and give you those. Arnold doing a good job right now, slowing down Nocta Warren, making him carry that weight as he's looking to get this, this ride. This, I mean, this looks more like an elite level college match maybe than what you're used to seeing in the right. high school. Uh, but I'm, I'm glad we're seeing it. And the thing is, there's no consequence. You know, like, you got two minutes to get away. So, good, great opportunities. Nactaborn just kind of hanging in that quad position. Arnold just kind of clinging on. Making him carry that weight, then going out of bounds, any opportunity as they look for situation on the edge. 55 seconds left, 1-0. Do you sit to your to your bottom here? What's your what's your escape tactics? I'm gonna stay in that quad pod position, see if I can't get my hands up. Oh, oh he's there up right it is. Away. That was and quick. He's escape. That was explosive. And that's not something people might think that they see from Tate. But he shows it, gets his escape one to one, 40 seconds left. Shot from Arnold right there, and they're gonna go out of bounds as he circles. Now he's looking to get to the leg, kicks out, it goes out of bounds. He kicks it and comes back in, no call. They are going to be neutral, 31 seconds left. I was just gonna say the edge of the mat is where you gotta be ready with these two caliber wrestlers. They are so sneaky good, and Arnold just about snuck one out there. Oh, and he gets to the single. Arnold kicks out. And he's got Tate the far ankle. The leg. He's going to try to pull it pull in. And they're going to go out of bounds. Nothing. I mean, both of those potentially could have been fleeing the mat calls. Out of both wrestlers. I, I want the fans to get into this. This is something you're going to be watching for the next Yeah, you know, we're down to 10 years. seconds here. Shot right there from Arnold. He gets the legs and he's lifting. And he's gonna get that. Oh, he goes oh, for no. a roll like that. Nothing. Wow. Nothing. Wow. Oh, my goodness. This is wild, folks. This is high school wrestling in the state of Iowa. I hope you're enjoying it. It does not get better than this. We have one minute on the clock. Here we go, folks. That was deep. Great shot, great defense, beautiful leg pass. Great intelligence by both wrestlers. They were really aware. What's your go-to attack? Shot oh. right there. And Arnold's gonna get to the leg. Tate looking to turn it over the hips. Arnold gets up to his feet. Tate's gonna have to be intelligent right here. Arnold looking to get the finish. They're again on the edge. That's what you talked about yeah. earlier. This is where this match is gonna be won, on the edge of the mat. He has Tate's, a nice wizard in. Yeah, Tate's got it all locked up under there. And he looks for and a leg pass, through. and he's gonna and get, he's coming he's up, gonna get he's gonna come up. Seven seconds, he's trying to get up. Both of them have legs, he's behind it. Nothing. This is okay. what you paid for, folks. Holy smokes. These young men are scrapping. The future of in-state wrestling, uh, Iowa Hawkeye and Gabe Arnold, uh, Iowa State Cyclone and Tate Noctaborn. As you can tell, both of these young men have put it out there. They're exhausted. Arnold gonna take some blood time here. Blood 
timeout, five. Uh, Tate did look to have the advantage from the top position there early. Arnold put on a nice ride. Arnold put on a nice yeah, ride. Yeah, I had that backwards, didn't I? Yep, yeah, yeah, Arnold I'm put too on excited. a nice ride. Too yeah. excited. It's wild there. Let's go, fans. There we go. Get on your feet. If you're at home, get up out of that chair. He's going to. He goes to the single. City High looking for a stalemate call. Tate hasn't looked to finish it. But he's going to have to make some attempts. Stall call right there. He's looking for the kick out right there. Knock the board. Arnold gets away. 10 seconds here in the first 30 second period. Push right, it. All righty, we're going to our second 30 second right out. Nactaborn's gonna take the bottom position. Again, if you're sitting down, you're not a wrestling fan. This is wild, folks. 30 seconds left. We are going to see what happens. 30 second right out, what happens? Nactaborn gets to his feet, Back Arnold to that. behind it. He looks to get away. Arnold goes lift, looks for the roll, returns him to the mat. Nocturne gets to the sit position, gets back to a knee on the mat, looking to get the escape, goes over, over hook, 13, 13 seconds, seconds left. left. We're gonna go back to center. These kids have put their heart out this, here. This has been a treat, an absolute pleasure and honor to be able to call this match tonight between these two wrestlers. No other matches are going. Everybody's eyes are on this. Gets to his feet, looking. Nothing yet, hasn't got away. Seven, six, five. Looks for a lift right there. Goes roll and he isn't able to get it. Gabe Arnold holds him down. And is an Iowa High School State Champion at 182 pounds with the ride out. Congratulations to Coach Corey Connell and the Iowa City High program. Heart goes out to Tate Nactaborn. Got it done. A lot of respect, both of these young men. Bigger and better things to come for Tate Nactaborn, no doubt in my mind. Congratulations to that warrior. Didn't turn out in his favor tonight. 